Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and today we're going to be discussing how to tie a schmog. You no know, schmog being a fun Middle Eastern little square of fabric, usually folded into a triangle. This one's a bit smaller than average, but it's got a very, very unique print to it. So, <clears throat> had a cold for like two weeks, so the purpose of a schmog is mostly to keep the sun, dust, and all sorts of environmental unpleasantness off of your face. And you can also use it sling, general bandage, pretty much any and all purposes. It's a useful piece of uh, fabric, basically. And so yeah, basically, first use, if you want to do your business casual hipster setup, is you just put that over your face, get a little tie in the back here, like so, wrap that over, and boom. There's part one. Face is protected. Get your set there, where's my... There we go. And you can throw your goggles on, boom. And it's sexy time, and that's all there is to it. So that's pretty simple, straightforward, easy way to use it. Now, if you want to add a bit of security to it, and keep it from flying off or doing anything too crazy, you can also tie a little knot up here. Where's my, I can't really see it. I haven't done this in a while. Usually too hot and too humid to be using it, but it is useful. So you can tie that right there, bring it up under here, and boom. Then what you would do from there is you tuck that under there, and you can adjust it as so, and yeah, business casual, congratulations, you are now a hipster. It's just that easy. Until, you know, that trend gets way too popular, then I'll be mainstream, and hipsters will have to find something else to do. So, that's the easy business casual. Now the really formal super dust storm sort of approach is you take it, and you're going to want to cant it off to like an angle or so. So we're going to go with that one, because I like to tie it on that side. So you put that there, and now you have a short end and a long end. The long end is called a Kenny Loggins, and they play Danger Zone. I don't have a joke for the short end. So short end, you're going to want to wrap that up under your chin and up over that way. Hey, and then you're going to take the long end, and that's going to come up across the face. You let that one go for a second. You take the short end, and take the long end, and you tie them together up over here in this corner. You go, watcha. There we go. Nice and tight. And there you have your sandstorm protection. You protect it from the sun. The uh, nice little shaved portions of my head are now not going to get sunburned. And if you're using your issued ESS goggles, yet again, bring things on over here, and you go, watcha. And congratulations, you're now protected from the sun and the sand. However, these lenses tend to be garbage, and although they will not break or shatter, they're going to get super scratched up from the sand, it's going to be awkward. But hey, now you uh, look like you know what a desert looks like. So, I actually grew up in a desert, so we didn't have these. We had plenty of sandstorms, but none of these, so getting pelted with sand was never a... Fun experience growing up, but, you know, these are just some cool things you can do. If you really, really, really wanted to do the cosplay first, off that, just throw a little metal mask, mask over it. And hey, you're all set. And this will also dampen the impact of BBs, but it's still going to hurt, so. Just my little tips for you guys there, so. That's the two, well, technically three, main ways to tie schmog. And, yeah, what you're generally going to see with people playing... Airsoft or just they buy it because it's cool and they saw it in a movie once Is they're generally just gonna like tie something like that And like that and they're just gonna be like watcha There we go. There's my smog. That's that's it guys. That's everything. That was all we needed Also very importantly if you are going to be using it with a plate carrier or anything of that nature Always 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 tuck the extra material into the plate carrier because you still want to have access to your stuff, so that's it. That's all there is in the tiny schmog. It's uh, pretty simple, not terribly difficult, and uh, yeah, they're fun. So, yay! Cheers, everyone. See you in the next video.